Greetings to all my dancers out there. I hope you are having a wonderful day and we shall get back into Dragon Age Origins. My mage Nandiara here is currently running in Ostagar. And we're going to find a lot of codex entries here that we're going to not read, but we'll go through them. Um, go through getting them anyway. And uh, there's a couple of quests, and there's a couple of people to meet. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yes, I am. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? <clears throat> Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Oh, thank you very much. I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. And tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. I actually knew somebody who used that phrase. You can't swing a dead cat without blah, blah, blah. And I found it very, very odd when I was around him. And then when I first heard it here in the game, I was like, that's actually a phrase that people use? And apparently it is used in some circles somewhere. Be interesting to know more about it. Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Where is the king? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. Uh, the Circle of Magi is here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. It gives me the shivers when they talk. All cold and even. They're to the north of here. Bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Yes. Templars like to glare at the mages. Um, of course, Cullen, that we met in our beginning, did not seem like he hated us. It seemed like he was nervous and loving us. Um, or at least wanting to get to know us better. But he got all flustered and ran off. So far, that's the only Templar I've met that wasn't, like, super glaring at the mages, because the mages are cursed or whatever. This is Pharrell, Do I hear dogs it? barking? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. And that's it. I'll be on my way. Good luck to you, then. Thank you. Now, let's see here. We look at the map. We have all these different places to go. But that's Alistair up there. That's our final destination. So I'm going to go this way and circle around. Now, let's see here. This is King Merrick's tent. And we'll talk to his guard. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Do you know where the king is? Or let's persuade him. Tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? Well, I have my doubts. That's how the Tern feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny that Tern called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. The queen? Or do they fight often? Let's do this one. More than usual lately. Good thing the Tern's the only one who can speak to the king like that. Indeed. I should go. As you wish. Okay, so we learned about Kaelin and the Tern a little bit. I'm going to go up this way. Look carefully, men. This wretched thing is a dark sport. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and, 
and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Okay. Now that chest is locked. What are you guys talking about? This is about? supposed to be the battle that sends these darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. I like that they're the women there's very little sexism in this world women can be soldiers and merchants and nobility and i it's ex, it's an extremely racist My game I shall not fear 10,000 men should they set themselves against me the elves and dwarves and humans and kunaris are very judgmental of each other and all of them are racist everybody um but the gender thing is not an issue, which I like. Darkspawn. Different. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard of. Our short friend here, for instance, is something called a genlock. They're pretty common in the Horde, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new Darkspawn are coming from or what they can do. All I can say is to use caution. There aren't any we've seen that won't die once they bleed enough. Okay. So he just told us how the game designers want us to say the word genlock. I hear a lot of people calling them Genlocks, and that's weird because the game tells us to say Genlock. So I try and do that. Let's quick save. Because I save whenever I don't want to repeat something I've already done. You approach the tent of Town Logain. State your business. How can you not know of Logain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Yeah. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Well, without Tern Loghain, Duncan would be the advisor. And he is a, a little bit... Uh, his only bias is anti-Darkspawn. Whereas Loghain is also anti orlesian and it colors his, uh, his thoughts. Is the Terran inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Let's see here. Persuade. Surely you can tell me a little about him. Well, I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Terran's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Terran speaks his mind. The king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logan tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. <clears throat> now, I could get an audience with him, but I don't want to. Just me personally. Um, that's not a particular clip that I like, so I'm not going to put myself through it. Very well. If you guys want to talk to him, feel free. It's fantastic. Now we'll keep... Going around this area. Here. You there, elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. If you hail him. Hello. I, I'm sorry. Is there something you needed? Um. What do you mean? I deliver messages around the camp. Do you have a message for me? Uh. Yes, I do. Then what is... Oh, wait. Are you the one I'm supposed to give Sir Garland's sword to? Because I think the smith's done with it. Uh, yes. Oh, that's such a relief. You really saved me from the switch for sure. I'd best get back to my duties again before I get in more trouble. Yes. Sorry, Pick. You're going to get the switch because I now have Sir Garland's sword. It's not the best sword ever, but when you are first starting, you don't have any magical items, so being able to give them to your party members is a plus. Let's learn some about the Ash Warriors. What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the town, I hope. No, I haven't. If you're not from the town, what do you want? 
We're busy. Um, you don't look like the other soldiers in the camp. In the army. We aren't. We're ash warriors. Uh, what is an ash warrior? Our training has been passed down since Lathias the dwarf son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. Um, can I hear this old tale? I am no bard, but I will do my best. Lathias was a claimed tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the dwarves of Ulzamar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Lathias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Lathias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. Okay. Uh, what happened to him? Lathias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigana, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Lathias was grieved. He sent Morrigana away, but this only vexed her and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Lathias slew Morrigannon in single combat. However, his wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. And we live by his teachings even today. An interesting legend. What happened to his wife? So he betrayed his wife and killed his lover. Fantastic. That's really breaking it down. <laughs> what happened to his wife? It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain along with a final night of passion. Then she was gone forever. If she lived on in Orzammar, only the dwarven folk could say for certain. Um, an interesting legend. Thank you for telling me. It was an honor. Let's see here. Why have you painted your dogs? They you sent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with caddis, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. Oh, let's see here. Um, I think that's a, that's enough here. I should My be thanks. going. There is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. There we go. And... Hmm. How do I do this without doubling around too much? I'll, I'll do it like this. Okay. So we'll go here. Mm. This isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Okay. What's the problem? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help. I need him muzzled first. Um. Now, see, she's been raised her whole life in the Chantry, so she's used to taking orders, and she's used to following the, the rules. So I think right now. She's still thinking about that, so I'll give it a shot. Sure. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Well, <clears throat> this animal is very ill. Let's put the muzzle on the dog. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Now, one thing that I just thought of for the first time, how does she know how to work a muzzle? She's never seen anything like it before. Muzzles are not exactly, you know, they don't have the best user interface. It might be, why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Okay. Where in the wilds would I find this flower? It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. I'll see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Yes. Yes, yes, good deal. And then we'll go up here, I think. So we'll go down 
into the Quartermaster and Dabbeth in a bit. So we'll go over here. You talk to this guy. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The dark spawn are coming. Um, let's see here. Why do you say that? I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Um, is it possible he has important information? The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... you can feel it, can't you? They take the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Yes, he is, uh... He's right to be upset, and nobody knows about him. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. I don't remember if I judged her to be very Andrastian or not. I'll have to watch my old videos. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Uh, yes, I am Nadiara. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I was not aware they permitted women to join the Grey Wardens. None of those I've seen thus far have been. I'd rather not talk. I'm a mage. Perhaps I saved the best for last. Is that a problem? I'll say this. I'm a mage. I assume that means I'm qualified. I had heard mages joined, but, um, well, I had not, um, <laughs> that is... Are you all right? There's no need to cower, fool. I'm not going to hurt you without reason. Mages aren't that frightened. Are you all right? We'll say that. Yes, I apologize. I have always found magic unnerving. I should be pleased that in this case it will be on our side. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. So Jory is nervous around mages. That's interesting. Is this a locked box? Yes, it's a locked box. Okay, now here... Have a prisoner. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. Uh, not to spoil anything, but that might very well be the same voice actor that does Anders later on. Which is very interesting. Uh, you haven't been sentenced? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you? All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Um, that's horrible. Why haven't they fed you? I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Now, I as a player know that in order to get this quest, I have to do this. Maybe. I will tell me why you're in there first. I'm a deserter, or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Uh, did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Um... If you weren't deserting, why sneak around the camp? Oh, I would have deserted eventually. Just not then. I was stealing, not sneaking out of the camp. I got one of those wizards drunk and took his key. It belongs to a chest they got here, full of magical treasures. In fact, I still have it. I can't use it from here, but I'd trade you for some food and water. That is a way around to get the quest. That's not greedy. I'm glad I did that. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. I'm a little curious as to why he's covered in blood splatter, but it is Dragon Age, so everybody's covered in blood splatter. Let's talk to the guard. Lucky dog. You Grey Wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. 
They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Um, I had a chat with him actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Yes, he asked me for some food and water. <clears throat> Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Uh, so you'll miss one meal. This man could be hanged soon. Persuade. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back to the guy. So? <clears throat> brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Here's some food. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Eh? Okay, so now we have a key, which is going to be important tonight and not right now. Let's talk to Davis. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. It's so weird how the voices are close or echoed, depending on where you're standing. Um, but like this situation, I was standing in the same place all three times, and they were different. So it's sort of a pathing glitch, I guess. Hi, Dabbeth. Well... You're not what I thought you'd be. And what did you think I would be? Not a woman. Yet, here you are. The name's Dabbeth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Yeah, I've got boobs so I can't join the wardens? Um, what do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, <clears throat> see? And I heard a couple of grey wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. The wilds, maybe they will. The wilds? We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari wilds here. Miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. I doubt they will send us into pointless danger or this in the stairway. Uh, I doubt they will send us into a pointless danger. Then why do the Grey Wardens only recruit folks who can fight? Or are you their first basket weaver? I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Wardens recruit fighters because they try and kill Darkspawn. Basket weaving will not kill Darkspawn. They're forcing you to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway... I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Okay, Dabbeth. And we'll go talk to... See, if we try and open this now, then he'll say, Oh, you can't do that. Um, I know everything about the Tranquil. I don't need that. As a mage, I don't need it. Save. Talk to the Quartermaster. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. I uh, can't say I have, no. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Yes, I did. What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Now, this is a position. I have one silver, but I want like 57. And I'll show you why in a bit. We'll sell the dagger. We'll sell the mace. 
Uh, we'll sell both staffs. Now we're not going to sell the big guys just yet. Because we have all this stuff to sell. Um, leather boots. Leather armor. Small shield. Chantry robe. Apprentice cowl. See, I have plenty of money. And I haven't even done this yet. Fire resistance. Da -da -da -da. Sell the book of the winds. Now, a lot of people do this sort of thing off camera. But if you're watching to witness someone experienced, it's kind of good to see what I buy and sell so you know what's junk as well. Now see, this right here is what I need the money for. Because we have 70, and now we have 80. It's very important. Um, I have a list of uh, resources that you need to keep for your army components later on in the game. Because um, there, some of your followers need gems, some need runes, etc. There's a couple of quests that require gems, so. But, on my list, the Malachites are there, the Quartz is not, and neither is the Greenstone. Trade Manifest, Private Documents, Blank Vellum. Fine, fine, fine. And we don't need Frost Rock for anything. But the others can be used. Um, let's see here. We want the health poultice recipe. That'll take half our money. Should we get both of these? Health poultice and lesser injury kit. We'll just take the health. Okay. Let's see what his other goods are. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps. Let's see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. You have some weapons. Eh. And you have some armor. <clears throat> and some stuff. And some recipes. These recipes. I believe are what he's talking about because he does sell some poison um, so I guess that's why they're other you know they're, they're different so now we've been around the whole camp and we'll go talk to Atlas there Let's save this, and we go up here. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. <sighs> you know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. Now, Alistair, um, in my mind, is one of the best characters in this series. And it's just because his... I describe him as adorkable. He's goofy, he's silly, he's, uh, he's adorable. Um, but he's got a genuine good heart. And he cares. And he's, um, 
he has potential. I really like meeting him here. You are very... I know exactly what you mean. We'll go with number three. There. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Um, would that make your day worse? Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from the Circle of Magi. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Uh, how could you recognize me? Duncan sent word. He spoke quite highly of you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. Yes. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Uh, um, pleased to meet you. My name is Nandiara. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. It's so weird because the girls, the women in this game can do everything the men can do. But everybody is remarking on how women in Grey Wardens aren't huge. But in the opening scene, um, you know, where Duncan was narrating, there were women there. You want more women in the Grey Wardens, do you? Would that be so terrible? Not that I'm some drooling lecher or anything. Please stop looking at me like that. <laughs> so I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Uh, no, I haven't. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Um, let's see, let's go. The argument they saw. Don't have to. What was that about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request. And the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Oh dear. That would be awkward. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. Now, Duncan has some fatherly attributes, and they show up time and again as we're going through this section of the of the game. Um, it's a little strange to me to have a 45-year-old dude giving a 30-year-old a lecture about, you have to get along. Um, but I think that having him be the recruiter, he deals with a lot of rambunctious individuals, like Dabith, perhaps. So he just takes it on, you know, you gotta be a great warden, you gotta be worthy of the title. I look forward to traveling with you. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Oh, and Alistair likes me. I see that's locked. Okay. Let's see here. Here we go. Off to Duncan. Oh, wait a minute. Alistair, what are you wearing? You can wield Sir Garland's sword. And should we put you in the battle dress? Just until we have a rogue who can wear it. No, because then you'll miss your bonus. So let's, let's see here. Inspect. Equipped in a set with armor and boots. Bonus to armor. Now see, I get the armor from that. So I will put him in it. 
It looks a little weird like that, but that's okay. And here in this hour, good folk. And we contemplate the death that may await. And quick save. Here we go. You found Alistair, did you? Very good. good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Korkari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. Such a fatherly exchange. No wonder Alistair likes him so much. If he's been around him for a while. But we'll find out more about Alistair's past later. What we need at four into the wilds. And what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, <coughs> abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the archive and three vials of blood. What kind of scrolls? What if they're over there? Is this part of our joining? How, how will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Right, he just found out about this tower, and he'll know the way there. Okay. What kinds of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities, with so many having forgotten their commitments to us. I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. Yes. Um, find the archive in three vials, but understood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Mako watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay, so let's check our quest log here. The dog, the deserter, blood, and ruins. So there it is. And I think we'll stop here. Um, next time we'll go into the wilds and do some hunting and some killing and some finding and some other stuff. But this was our first foray into Ostagar. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned some things. Thank you for watching and happy dancing. Hi and welcome back. I am recording this a little bit late because during the editing process I realized that I forgot to talk to someone in the camp. So we'll go do that now. This wouldn't normally be a problem, but this person is sort of a big deal Maker above, for the game. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. When your what do we have here? I heard the new Grey Warden recruit was from the Circle. I don't believe we've met, but I've certainly heard a lot about your talent. My name is Wynne, and I congratulate you on your harrowing, marvelous work. The Fade is a dangerous place. <clears throat> Let's see here. Found it tearing. You still know about that? It wasn't divisible. I found it. Yeah, um. I found it terrifying. I thought the same. It's good you can admit that. So, a Grey Warden fighting alongside the king. Not too shabby for someone just out of apprenticeship. Um, king Kaelin thinks the beta will go well. The king must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. I do not know how comparing the king to a puppy 
can be respectful. I mean, the affection part I get, but respect? You're a little puppy? I don't know. I think the king is worth more than that. You faced Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast uh, horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Let's see here. I don't remember encountering Darkspawn and the Fade. They do not live there. Nor would any sane mage trespass as deeply into that realm as the Black City, which lies at its heart. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Deventer Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. Oh, the Chantry says many things. Yes, it does. I've heard that story before, and is that true? She, Wen, doesn't know that. Um, I've heard the story, or the Chantry says many things. I think she's heard the story before. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Um, at least it's something to ponder. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Walking yes, he does, Wynne. And now we get a codex around her. See, we saw the mages last time. But we missed Wynne because we went that way. But now we've talked to her. And I'll tag this on to the end of my video from before. Uh, thank you for coming with me, and I'll see you next time.